Hey guys, this is CryptoCoin Investor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my Ether Wallet website to safely store your Ethereum. So one of the best ways to properly store your Ethereum is by making use of Ethereum Paper Wallet. Essentially, an Ether Paper Wallet is a record of your Ethereum wallet, private and public keys, which you need to access your wallet and make transactions. You can use this wallet to not only store Ether, but any other ERC20 compatible token. While possessing just a piece of paper with a code on it and calling it a wallet may come off as little weird to some, but believe me, this is one of the safest methods you can employ to store your precious Ether and ERC20 tokens. Paper wallets provide an extraordinary advantage over other conventional cryptocurrency storage techniques. An Ethereum paper wallet looks like this, and now I'll be using MyEtherWallet.com to create one. MyEtherWallet is an open source JavaScript application that is commonly used for physical storage purposes. The website provides a very easy to use interface to create a paper wallet. When visiting my Ether wallet, please make sure that you are on the correct website. Believe me, there are tons of phishing websites out there. And if you land on the wrong website, you can potentially lose your funds. So make sure the URL is correct in your web browser. Also look for the verified SSL certificate, which looks like this. Once you have made sure that you are on the right website, make sure you bookmark it. This way you will never visit a fake phishing website, which are set up with similar URLs. Now let's create a paper wallet. Click on the new wallet tab and enter a combination of at least 15 different characters including special characters in lower and upper case letters. You should store your password outside of your computer. Keep this password tucked away in a place where you won't lose it. This password is essential to decrypting your Ether wallet. After entering a password you will be asked to download a keystore file, meaning an Ether wallet is saved as a file to a USB drive or personal computer. Hit the download keystore file button at this point. Click on I understand continue button. And now you'll be shown your private key. You will also be shown an option to print a paper wallet. This paper wallet holds our official public Ether address as well as the private key. This address can be shared with anyone. It's like an account number of your bank account, but do not share your private key. If any person gets hold of your private key, then he or she can access all of your Ether and ERC20 tokens. After printing out several copies of the paper wallet, I really suggest you to move the key store file that we downloaded earlier to a USB drive. Now I will be sending some Ethereum from a personal account to the newly created paper wallet. For that I will click on the send Ether and tokens. I will paste the private key and then click on the unlock. Now in this field I will be pasting the address of my paper wallet. Now I will enter the amount of Ether that I want to transfer. And then I will click on generate transaction and now I will confirm the transaction. Now I will click on view wallet info to check if the funds have actually arrived on the paper wallet or not. I will paste the private key here and then click on unlock to open the wallet. Voila, the funds have arrived successfully. So that is how you can use my Ether wallet to create a paper wallet and then access it on the same very website. A paper wallet is perfect for people who wish to keep their Ether in cold storage that is unconnected from the internet. It's a great way to store your funds securely. Additionally, paper wallets make for fantastic gift ideas. Just make sure to preload it with a decent amount of Ether and tell them to hold it to the moon. I hope you found my video useful. Give us a like and share with your friends. Stay subscribed for more cryptocurrency and ICO news. Bye bye.